Shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. I'd wake up, get ready for class, and ultimately just ask myself if I got to where I am today because of some fluke. Every day I'd wonder whether or not I was living a lie, whether or not I was just an imposter living amongst people that truly deserve to be there. I was dealing with imposter syndrome, but everything changed when I started to believe in myself. Believing in myself gave me the confidence to strive for greater opportunities, and when I got those opportunities, it led to even more confidence to the point where I have become very comfortable and happy with who I've become today. In the beginning, it was like... I feel you. Hey, it's another beautiful day in Palo Alto right now, and it's a Friday, so I'm pretty excited about the day. If you're new to this channel, this vlog will just be like my other vlogs where there's going to be an underlying theme, but I'll also take you around my day as usual just to show you what I'm up to here at Stanford. So yeah, today's gonna be pretty eventful. I'm going to go to lab right now to do some work, and later on I'll have a gathering with uh, the other people in this program, so should be fun. Let's get to it. Cause we are different dreams that we can never grow So this morning I really didn't have breakfast because I had a big dinner yesterday and I just really wasn't hungry, but usually I do. Right now I'm about to head to lab because I do have to do some work, I have to do my poster, and I have to finish up some of the assembly process I do have with my final project. And right now, it should be pretty cool. I'll show you how to use the 3D printer because I do have to pick up some parts from it. And let's head in there. The first step to dealing with imposter syndrome is believing in yourself. I've said this in the past, but if you don't believe in yourself, you can't really expect anybody else to believe in you. It's easy to latch onto things that people say about you or even don't say about you. You may think that the things that you do go unnoticed while the things that people around you do are praised. And even if that were the case, I would say that you should have the self-confidence to just keep pushing along regardless of how much recognition you are getting. A big shift that I had mentally for myself was shifting away from having others push me to pushing myself to just be the best person that I know I can be. So my success wasn't based off of what others thought, my success was based off of how fulfilled I felt in that moment. And that shift has allowed me to be happier and more content with who I am as a person and more appreciative of the successes that I'm experiencing now. So right now I'm in lab and I'm going to have to pick up a part that I just 3D printed and I'll walk you through the 3D printing process right now. We have a pretty high-end 3D printer so it's actually pretty easy. Right here you can see that my gear attachment is done, that's what I just printed. And the way that this 3D printer prints actually is all the resin is down here at the bottom and this platform will slowly raise, uh, but it takes about 8 to 9 hours for this part. and. As it raises, it'll use its lasers and heat up this resin and it'll print upside down where the finished product is actually upside down up here. I'll then throw it into an alcohol bath where it'll get all the excess resin off and it'll just clean the part and then the UV bake will solidify everything into a solid piece. So right now the part I printed is just curing right now in the oven and it's about to take an hour and a half so I'm not going to sit here and wait for it. I actually have to finish my poster which I have to present at our poster symposium next week so I have to really get started on that. I'm going to go up to the office to do that.
Nobody will truly understand how much work you put in every day to be the successful person you hope to be. And that's okay. These things don't go truly unnoticed because you should notice them yourself. You know the hours you're putting in, you know the work you're putting in, and the sleep or parties that you're sacrificing to be the successful person you wish to be. And that's all that matters. Because at the end of the day, people will come and go from your life, but you will have yourself for your entire life. So you'll have to learn how to deal with motivating yourself to keep going and motivate yourself to be the successful person that you wish to be. You are an amazing individual in your own way. And if you're the only one that knows that one way that you're special, that's okay. And eventually people will notice as long as you keep putting in the work and you continue to believe in yourself. So Timmy just invited me to lunch and I've gotten pretty hungry. So that's where I'm heading right now. So I just came back from lunch and it's just times like those where I really appreciate the friends that I've made and the connections that I made over the summer because I feel as if we've gotten a lot closer and lunchtime is a good time to catch up and just make sure everybody's doing well and those are always great times. Right now I'm in lab because my stuff should be done baking so I'm gonna go pick that up right now. So I just scraped off all the excess uh, supports and put some IPA on it, cleaned it off, and actually this part came out exactly as I had expected in my CAD model. And when I put it on my apparatus, like it actually fit really perfect, so I'm really happy with that. I just showed the grad student I'm working under and we're all pretty happy with the way things are going. Right now, I'm going to need to print two more of these because I just printed this one to see if it would fit and now I know it'll fit, so I'm just going to print two more copies of these. And yeah, um, these should be done by the weekend. If you make sure to follow me on Instagram and I'll try to update my progress on my Instagram stories. So stay tuned for that. And if you're in some sort of prestigious program or university or some sort of track and you think that you were there by mistake or maybe they just overlooked your bad qualities, then that's just also an inherently flawed opinion. As long as you know the work that you put in and as long as your parents didn't just pay for you to get into that program, then you deserve to be there these admissions people and these people that look over applications are experienced. They do this on a day-to-day -day basis. It's their job. So they know who will succeed in their programs and that's who they admit. If you continually hold on to the idea that you're in any position just because of some sort of fluke or just because of luck, then you won't be able to push yourself forward because you'll be continually holding on to that past idea that you're not good enough. So if you're ever having that doubt, just push it aside because you are good enough to be in the position that you are today and that's why you're in that position right now. So now the print job's uploaded and if I look at my 3D printer, it's going to say ready to print. So I'm just going to have to print now. And it just wants me to make sure that this vent is open, which it is. So I'm just going to go over here and I can confirm the print. Now it's going to lower the platform and it's going to preheat the resin to the right temperature so that it can start printing. Right now I'm going to head right back up to the office because I need to work on this poster like I said before. But yeah, pretty excited how everything is going and I think this summer is going to end pretty well. So right now I actually think I'm going to head back because I just need a little change of scenery just to keep staying productive. I'll probably keep working for a while until dinner, but yeah, at this point, I'm just gonna head back. The fact that people use weather as a major draw for Stanford isn't really an understatement because being able to walk out of the stresses of lab and having a day that looks like this 
it's like it can't be understated how good it feels to not have to like bundle up or avoid snow and just be able to walk out in the sunshine where it's not even too hot like the weather is just ideal and that's just great once I got into the mindset where I truly believed in myself, I just began succeeding even more. And once you start succeeding in things, people can't take those accomplishments away from you. So you'll always have these accomplishments to look back on and I think it's a continual cycle where you start believing yourself even more the more you accomplish things and then you get into this mindset where you truly believe that you can do amazing things. I went from someone who always doubted myself and always thought that I wasn't good enough but now I know that I can make a big difference in this world. I'm not only, I not only believe in myself to get by, I believe in my ability to actually go and make a giant impact on this world and really impact people's lives in a way that I feel fulfilled and in a way where I think I can help a ton of people. So I ended up actually not getting that much progress done on my poster and ended up just napping. Uh, haven't been really getting that much sleep the past couple of days, so I thought it was okay to just take a moment to nap. Right now I have to head to dinner just to get a quick bite, and then I'm gonna go get some gimbal shots for the intro that you're going to see in the beginning of this video, or that you already saw. So I just linked up with Max and Cordell, and now we're going to do some gimbal shots. You've probably already seen it in the beginning of this video in the intro. Cordell will be the cameraman and I'm about to take some pictures with Max later on. So we just finished getting our shots. It got pretty dark out so really can't do anything now and I don't even know what our plans are for the rest of the day I'll probably try to get started on my poster no guarantees but I think everybody's just going to chill we might hang out we might catch up with the other people in the program but who knows Yeah, so it's 2.30 and I just got ready for bed. Um, actually, since the last time I updated you guys, I just ended up um, chilling with people in the program and we ended up playing some video games. We even ordered some pizza and had some good conversations. A lot of the conversations revolved around what I've just been talking about today and the fact that I just hate it when people don't believe in themselves because I think once you believe in yourself, you can really unlock any hidden potential that you may have, but you really can't get to that potential if you don't believe in yourself enough to try and reach out for those different opportunities. If you haven't already, make sure you follow me on Instagram because I'm going to update my story often and I'm going to post often. And I think that's the best way to keep up to date with what I'm doing. As for this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on my latest videos because I'm still going to be pushing out some really cool videos. Next Friday, I have a really exciting video for you guys that I think you'll really like. And lastly, I wanted to give another huge shout out to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. They offer a lot of cool services that I wanted to talk quickly about. Squarespace gives people a powerful and beautiful online platform for which to create your website. With all the really aesthetic templates they have to choose from, I already had a strong base to start on. I'm honestly very proud of how my site came out and I use it as a cool one-stop shop for everything me from my social platform to my resume. You can embed videos in the background of your website to really make it pop and you also have great analytical tools like Squarespace's traffic overview feature where you can track trends and page visits and views to better optimize your postings. Go to squarespace.com slash guide to get a free trial and 10% off your first purchase.